And no, while we still don't have gameplay, Cyberpunk 2077 is one step closer to completion. CD Projekt Red says the game is now fully playable, just not for us. There's still a long way to go, there are bugs, missing components, and plenty of testing to be done, but the story is intact from start to finish, which is a pretty huge milestone for its development. We still don't have a clear idea of the release window yet, and the last update we got was in June, with CDPR saying Cyberpunk would be ready when it's ready. So that's vague, but this progress update is nice reassurance that this probably isn't a development hell scenario like we saw with games like Duke Nukem Forever and The Last Guardian. CD Projekt Red is supposedly targeting current gen consoles, but it is still very possible we don't see this game until 2020, which would be sort of appropriate given that Cyberpunk 2020 was the name of the RPG it's based on. At the very least, we definitely will not be waiting until 2077. I hope. Shigeru Miyamoto, beloved creator of Mario, Zelda, Star Fox, and Popeye the Arcade Game, has some thoughts on free-to-play game models. He recently spoke at the Computer Entertainment Developers Conference. Miyamoto said companies, quote, should deliver games at reasonable prices rather than leaning on microtransactions and other cash grabs that often go with free-to-play. He also added that Nintendo is doubling down on its fixed cost model. Even though Super Mario Run was sort of a negative indictment of fixed cost, Miyamoto feels it's the only way to make sure Nintendo games are accessible to as many people as possible. Nintendo's Animal Crossing Pocket Camp drew criticism earlier this year when it added loot boxes, though that is pretty fitting after all, isn't Animal Crossing just an adorable caricature of the horrors of capitalism? Hmm? We might be getting too far ahead of ourselves with this whole Time Splitters acquisition. Anticipation for a remake or sequel is high after news that Coke Media bought the license earlier this month, but director David Doak is wary of high expectations. He spoke with Video Gamer about how hard it would be to surprise longtime fans of the series with a new Time Splitters game, and it sounds like he'd rather work on a new second site, which wasn't as popular as any of the Time Splitters. Look, just give the people what they want more zombie monkeys. That is your daily fix for August 24th, and now that you're caught up, see if you can make sense of this new Assassin's Creed Odyssey gameplay footage. It's all Greek to me! hey -oh! With that, I'm sorry, and I'm also Max Scoville. Go download the IGN app and follow the daily fix on Snapchat, and if you're really in a pinch, remember, you can always get your fix at IGN.com. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week.